so today we're back on the Astra build uh, a bit behind on progress on it but I'm hoping to make some headwind this weekend with it so uh, yeah let's uh, drop it down to the floor and we can show you what the engine bay looks like currently So since last video, uh, which was actually the very first video we started doing back in the Gizfab vlog series, um, engine's been next door to Ash, the Giz Motorsport, who's finally finished uh, building the engine for it. And um, we've got the manifold and turbo mounted up. Now, not much, we've not really done much with this uh, for the last month or so. Um, just been sort of like put on the back burner, but. We're going to get on with this weekend. Uh, Ash has done these uh, laser cut fan, sh fan shrouds, which look pretty cool. With a big ass fan on there. Um, we fitted a PCV uh, crankcase breather tube. We keep them on the shelf. Um, we've got a class and inlet manifold down there. And uh, a high flow fuel rail. So on this episode, um, I'm going to get the intake done and hopefully start on um, the top hat kit um, but I need some out the intercooler for that so we're going to start off with the intake because there's nothing really in the way stop me doing that so yeah let's go grab some materials and a tape measure and a pen and we'll start mocking up got some materials laid out here on the bench We've got some aluminium tube, silicon joiner uh, and the choice of air filter. Now, usually we we'll go for Old Faithful, which is just a Ram Air Pro Ram filter. It's dead simple, dead easy, looks half decent. Uh, but what, what I try and do in this build, if I can, is to fit a vibrant performance uh, bell mouth and a bell mouth filter. Now, I've never actually had a chance to actually see if these will fit or not. Uh, I think the engine mount might be a bit of an issue when it comes to clearance of the bonnet but nevertheless we're going to give it a go if we can't get it to work then we'll just have to go to the old faithful the program now with this intake there's no math sensor needed because the car is going to be mapped mathless um so dead simple um so I just re really the reason why i want to try and use one of these i want to try and make it look a bit different so it just doesn't look like a basic bitch So here's where we are with the intake, the next step will be to see if the, the bell mouth and filter is going to work, so rather than commit to welding this fully, uh, we're just going to use a bit of masking tape and just tape it on. So what we can do is we can then offer it onto the car, we can close the bonnet and see if it's going to fit or not. Yep, so it doesn't fit. We can't get the filter and the bell mouth to sit low enough because of that engine mount now. It's quite a big filter to begin with, so uh, I was pushing it a bit, so I'll have to go back to the trusty program. So we're back with the program. Um, yeah. Just not happy with this void we've got here now usually would it usually the filter would probably be about another three or four inches this way um because there would usually be a, a billet math boss that would weld inside the intake but since this car's been mapped mathless um i've cut it short 
but I'm not sure if I like it or not. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go cut another 45 with a longer leg. That should bring the filter up here and fill with this, uh, this void. Yeah. Yes, that's much better. We've, we've moved the filter up into this void now. So yeah, we'll just mark it up and then we'll go weld it together. prettiest um, but it's being powder coated so it doesn't really matter too much so yeah we're to cool down and then we'll go put it back in the car intake done uh, I've just given it a quick brush up on the uh, finishing belt there now we're not actually done with the intake uh, we've actually got one more fit into welding uh, which we'll get into more detail when we start to do the catch tank kit uh, but yeah it's come out nice I say looks like important the welds aren't as pretty as I'd like them to be but it's being powder coated black so yeah next we're gonna get on to the top hat kit and before we can start that, we need to mount the intercooler and we need to mount a throttle body. Intercooler bolted on, throttle body bolted on, we've got a top hat flange in there as well. Don't worry about them hex bolts, we're going to use uh, Allen screws when the time comes. So, yeah, we've got a two and a half inch 1D bend. Now, originally, uh, the customer wanted all one piece all the way down there to the intercooler, um, it's just a bad idea, uh, mainly for one big long piece, uh, just means it's going to be really awkward for maintenance um, so we're going to retain the standard in the cooler tube here which comes with all the VXR kits and then we're just going to make a one piece top hat and mat pipe which then matches up to this simple so first port of call is to trim this bend down as you can see otherwise the bonnet won't close so we're going to cut down about 35 mil of this leg off uh, and then I'm hoping that using this 65 degree bend and we've got something like that so let's get chopping so that's it we've got that cut down deburred cleaned so that goes in there like that and then I've got this two and a half inch 65 degree bend and the plan is on there like that as one piece so it looks like all I've got to do is chop maybe an inch off this end and that'll meet up lovely
that's coming out nice. Uh, what I've had to do is put a slight downwards cut on that first uh, two and a half inch elbow, uh, just to sort of like get everything lined up low enough, looking nice. Uh, but yeah, we've given it a quick brush up just to make it look pretty for the video. A um, bit pointless because it is getting powder coated black, the same as the intake, the same as everything else that I'm doing. So the final thing we need to do before we roll it all up is just uh, finalise the position of the map sensor, which we go in about there, and then we can get it all welded up. So that's the top hat kit all done, looks nice. Now the only thing we're probably going to add to this now is uh, a support bracket. Um, we're going to bolt on this little water housing which is meant to bolt to the side of here and then we're going to make some sort of bracket which will get laser cut which will tie the top hat into that bracket. Now from our experience is that these one piece style of top hats over time is they pull the threads out of the intake manifold um, mainly through vibrations um, but also if you've got someone who leans on this part here it puts a lot of stress on the threads um, you know and it's only an M6 thread they will pull out relatively easily so putting a bracket on there will stop that from happening in the future so that's it for this episode we've got the intake done we've got the top hat done um, so in the next episode we'll be tackling the downpipe and the screamer. I'm just waiting for some materials to come in just so we've got everything to do the job. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed this lovely video, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, notification bell, dingling and all that crap. Um, and we'll see you in the next episode in a couple of days. Thank you for watching. Wait, so let me get this straight. Two women, right, two women did what to a cup? <laughs>